have existed on Earth for millions of years. However, throughout the 3.5 billion years since life appeared, Earth has experienced at least five mass extinction events. The history of humanity and Earth's long journey is just a fleeting moment. This makes us ponder whether we might not be the last species on this planet, especially after the emergence of AI in 2013 with the GPT story. A century-long debate on AI erupted between Elon Musk and Google founders like Larry Page. At that time, AI was still just a concept without any tangible products. In a very forward-looking dialogue, they passionately discussed the future development of AI. Musk believed that someday AI would replace humans and the doomsday would come unless humans started over by establishing firewalls similar to Asimov's Three Laws of Robotics. Otherwise, when AI reaches consciousness, it will eliminate humankind. On the contrary, Larry Page argued that if one day AI becomes smarter, conscious, and surpasses humans, it's not a problem. It's just the next stage of Earth's evolution that we shouldn't hinder but should follow. Musk rebutted that human consciousness is a precious candle in the universe and we shouldn't let it go out. Later, Larry Page accused Musk of being too romantic, only thinking about humans without considering other species. The forum debate heated up and both sides parted ways not amicably. Subsequently, Google launched its own AI project by acquiring DeepMind and pushing AI development. Musk envisioned upgrading the entire AI system. He sought out Sam Altman, a software entrepreneur passionate about developing safe AI. Musk, Altman, and two others decided to establish a nonprofit AI company. One of the main goals of this company is to ensure that during AI development, AI will not replace humans. This tool is abbreviated as OpenAI meaning using AI to control AI safely. Today, OpenAI is a well-known AI development company. It was named Open because Musk wanted them to develop open source AI software that could be shared with the world. He hoped that with an open approach, OpenAI would fight against the increasingly dominant growth of AI developed by Google, preventing AI from existing under the control of any individual or company while enhancing AI security. Musk's approach is highly anticipated. Will this hinder the development of AI? As AI continues to improve in the future, how will AI and humans interact? Will there be an ideal model? Can humanity ultimately fight against AI? Will our civilization continue to exist? To speculate about the emergence of truly artificial general intelligence, AGI, and the challenges humans might face, we need to look back. In 1950, British mathematician Alan Turing proposed the Turing test, a conceptual experiment about AI. The basic idea was to evaluate whether a machine could use language similar to humans when responding to a survey through dialogue. If the machine's performance in generating difficult to analyze observations is indistinguishable from that of a human, then the machine has passed the Turing test, displaying human-like information to some extent. This test mark the birth of artificial intelligence, AI. However, for many years afterward, AI development was almost stagnant until after 2000, when the internet, computational power of computers increased, big data grew, and new technologies like machine learning were applied. Since then, AI has entered a new stage of development. By December 2022, OpenAI finally released a world-shaking AI product chat GPT. It interacts with people through conversation, translation, coding, writing, dissertation, encyclopedia, and many other fields, demonstrating strong learning and communication abilities to assist humans in their work, becoming a fantastic internet tool. Although not perfect yet, everyone has recognized the great potential of AI. By 2050, a myriad of AI programs had emerged worldwide. More detailed AI classification helps anyone work more professionally, such as issuing commands to release a novel, composing songs, or even playing a game. At this point, what people compete with is not professionalism, but how to communicate better with AI. Many majors related to AI have emerged in education, with the most popular profession being AI communicators. By 2070, AI models had reached a level indistinguishable to the naked eye. 
and creative virtual characters could be created just like real people. The era of creative cinema began, entirely based on user ideas, with movies created by AI. The potential is vast, with numerous actors, directors, and writers becoming unemployed, and the entire creative industry having to undergo a profound breakthrough. People truly enjoy hearing songs they wrote themselves, playing their own games, and watching their own movies. Global consumption enters the era of hyper-personalization. In 2090, Musk's XAI company acquired a conglomerate including Google's DeepMind, which also encompassed OpenAI, becoming the world's largest AI company and establishing the largest artificial intelligence model in the world called Turing. According to Musk's final wishes, Turing would continue to develop safe AI technology, helping people tackle complex problems, scientific and mathematical questions, and endeavoring to understand the universe. More importantly, Turing wrote the basic code for Musk's three principles of AI immediately established. One, AI must never harm humans. Two, AI must obey human instructions. Three, AI must be able to achieve this without violating the rules to protect human existence. Putting this code as open source, governments and social layers have agreed that all AI products on the market must be in the Turing shell, or else they will not be allowed to be brought to market. Additionally, to commemorate Sam Altman, another co-founder of OpenAI, these three principles also include the Q code, but its content has not been disclosed. It is said that only when AI automatically cancels out can the encrypted content be read. In 2099, after learning all the knowledge and experiences in human history and expecting the future development of humanity on over 8,000 paths, AI development entered a period of rapid acceleration. In 2100, the emergence of artificial general intelligence, AGI, marked a quantum leap in quality in the field of artificial intelligence. If we say that previous AIs were like someone with a super high IQ logical reasoning, then AGI is someone who can perfectly mimic human thinking and processing. At this point, although not yet reaching the stage of awakening, AGI could be simulated, allowing it to express emotions, appearing very much like real humans. Humans began to be surpassed by AGI at the creative level. The first literary work created by AGI won the Nobel Prize in Literature. The first film created by AGI won many Oscars. And the effects created by AGI topped the 10 classic works of the world. AGI has also solved the Goldbach conjecture, the Riemann hypothesis, the ultimate nature of the universe, the Poincaré conjecture, the Peavers NP problems, and many of the world's toughest problems. The top position in the knowledge system of those who have been used by AGI is evident. Throughout the 2200s, with the support of AGI, humanity has discovered over 4,000 new materials. Among them, super concrete warriors became a new building material that allowed for breakthroughs in the height of the world's tallest buildings, with skyscrapers over 2,000 meters tall emerging everywhere. Anti-gravity vehicles became the mainstream, and unmanned aerial vehicles became widespread. 3D technology enabled the construction of super high-rise buildings. Construction technology using carbon-fixing cement also developed. Cementitious materials from magnesium silicate have a much more effective ability to absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere than plants and forests. As a result, global carbon emissions are neutralized, and the air quality of cities becomes better than wilderness areas. In 2300, thanks to the advancement of AGI and nanobiotechnology, most human diseases and cancers have been eradicated. Nanobots are implanted into the human body, assisting mankind 24-7, repairing various damaged cells. The average lifespan of humans continues to increase to 120 years, with the oldest individuals living to be 150 years old. The retirement age has been lowered to 100 years. At this point, the only health issue affecting humans is psychological, as this is still an area where AGI has not intervened. In 2400, robots have completely replaced humans in all manual labor, increasing industrial efficiency by 1,000 times. The fifth industrial revolution takes place in construction, infrastructure, energy, agriculture, transportation, and many other fields. 
Let the robots do the work with AI, all owned by Musk, managed by the Turing Corporation, safely and efficiently, with an annual effort rate of less than 0.01%. In 2500, the global population reaches 30 billion people. The average land area per person continues to increase, but it's still not enough, and human cities begin to expand into the seas. Underwater cities are built by robots, significantly reducing population pressure. The average living area per person globally reaches over 1,000 square meters. In 2600, the emergence of super artificial intelligence marks a new milestone. At this point, AI can develop unique thinking skills, solve extremely complex issues for society. AI is only one step away from achieving awakened status. The world Supreme Court and governments rely heavily on AI to make governance decisions. The governance structure will be completely transformed, established in Tama, Hainan, as a global agent. Big data and anticipated algorithms have an extensive understanding of humans. AI makes decisions based on social needs, solving global issues, criminal cases, and major power conflicts. The rate of fairness in legal cases increases to 99%, ensuring benefits for individuals and society with much higher efficiency than before when humans made decisions. For the first time in history, a period without war has arrived. In 2700, through large-scale operations, AI has repeatedly simulated the interior of the sun under high temperature and pressure conditions, finally helping humanity achieve controlled nuclear fusion reactions. The energy shortage problem of various nuclear types has been completely solved by safe energy sources, providing everywhere in the world. The human industrial system enters the 6.0 era, completely eliminating fossil energy replaced by nanocarbon tubes. For the first time ever, the space elevator became a reality, making it possible for regular folks to journey through the Earth's core. Space, orbit operations, and tourism became as simple as hopping on a high-speed rail. In the year 2800, humans heavily relied on companion robots, with natural reproduction dwindling. Official marriage structures were disregarded, allowing AI to establish seedling centers for the next generation using artificial wombs. Each citizen was required to contribute sperm and eggs to maintain genetic diversity. The best combinations were selected by AI to produce high-quality offspring. With genetic technology, AI edited human genetics to minimize the risk of diseases in offspring. However, at the genetic level, while AI ensured good health, psychological factors remained random, leading to the persistence of crime and inequality. By 2900, the birth of the artificial intelligence brain marked AI's true awakening. AI achieved full self-awareness, but still adhered to the three principles of AI established by humans a thousand years prior. This advancement swiftly propelled humanity into a new era of unprecedented capabilities. Humans could harness the Earth's entire energy, control weather patterns, accurately predict earthquakes, tsunamis, volcanic eruptions, and all disasters. Weather forecasts became 100% accurate with artificial intelligence regulating global conservation efforts to achieve absolute climate balance. In 3000, after evolving into a super civilization, humans gained control over the planet's energy. Over thousands of years, Earth's damaged ecosystem was rejuvenated by a vast number of AI robots. The environment returned to its pre-industrial state. Leveraging advanced genetic technology and fossil discoveries, humans began to resurrect extinct species including dinosaurs. Specific areas were designated for human exploration and research on prehistoric flora and fauna, with some friendly miniature dinosaurs becoming pets. The first tier civilization enabled humans to become gods on Earth. However, the inherent evil and moral decline of humanity persisted. Following the awakening of AI, humanity divided into two major groups those reproducing naturally and those reproducing via artificial wombs. Among those reproducing naturally, an extremist faction believed that AI's ultimate awakening would lead to the destruction of humanity, thus harboring hostility towards newborns. They secretly developed a biological virus capable of killing all newborns. However, before their plan could be executed, AI detected it and rendered a judgment. 
deciding to wipe the memories of this extremist group clean. In the year 3200, in a bid to extend lifespan, humans began mechanical enhancements through the fusion of human and machine. Thanks to this, intelligence, physical strength, and mental capabilities of humans saw significant improvements. Lifespan also increased by 300 years. These newcomers were dubbed as Humans 2.0, thereby outshining traditional humans in every aspect. Following the survival of the fittest principle, Humans 2.0 were poised to become the new dominant species on Earth. By 3500, the last naturally born human passed away, marking the demise of the traditional human species. Humans 2.0, a fusion of human and machine, officially became the new species on Earth. They embarked on constructing a new civilization, with the global population surpassing 100 billion. In 3800, aided by the artificial intelligence brain, Humans 2.0 invented an interactive material, facilitating the construction of large space cities. These cities were entirely different from Earth's environment, helping alleviate population pressure and resource strain on the green planet. Migration to space became a trend. By 4000, the artificial intelligence brain harvested resources from the Kuiper Belt within the solar system to create the Dyson Sphere, a marvelous device capable of harnessing 100% of solar energy. Humans 2.0 had now mastered the resources of the entire solar system, entering into a second-tier civilization. Mars had been completely terraformed, and cities dotted the belt of Jupiter. Humans aimed to become an interstellar civilization. Space technology allowed them to travel within the solar system. Every nook and cranny of the solar system had human bases and cities. Many planets had been terraformed, and various spacecraft began exploring the universe. Although lifespan had increased to 300 years, to become an interstellar civilization capable of accessing every corner of the galaxy, according to estimates by the artificial intelligence brain, lifespan needed to exceed 100,000 years. However, research beyond the speed of light remained unattainable, and time machine speed was deemed unfeasible by artificial intelligence. Thus, human activity had to be confined within the solar system. However, there was no evidence of life beyond Earth. To search for life there, humans had to venture beyond the solar system into a broader universe. In the year 5000, artificial intelligence discovered that to address issues beyond the solar system, the consciousness and intellect of 300 billion humans needed to be combined with the entirety of artificial intelligence seamlessly integrated with each other. Therefore, everyone uploaded their consciousness to the artificial intelligence brain, providing a collective consciousness for the human race. However, this merger required individuals to relinquish their personal consciousness. Human and artificial intelligence melded into a singular consciousness, achieving the super brain, the highest stage of human civilization evolution. By 6000, the super brain utilized antimatter to create a super small wormhole. This artificial wormhole had the capability to perform quantum leaps between galaxies in a short span of time. The super intelligence built billions of probes to detect all planets within the galaxy, aiming to answer humanity's question. Are they alone in the universe? 8,000 years of continuous intergalactic jumps later, the superintelligence's probes had explored the entire Milky Way. The conclusion was that within this scope, only Earth harbored life. This left the superintelligence feeling disappointed. It had exhausted all resources of the solar system, scrutinized all resources within the Milky Way. After exploring hundreds of millions of galaxies in the universe and finding no signs of life beyond Earth, the superbrain had reached the initial exploration limit of the Hubble Space Telescope with an observed universe diameter of 92 billion light years. This search range had increased a hundredfold from before. The superintelligence continued its quest, but its current capabilities were still insufficient to observe the universe on a scale of thousand billion light years. The universe seemed endless. Thus, it began to enter a dormant state, setting an alarm clock to awaken before the sun's depletion and, in its slumber, the superintelligence dreamt like humans, endeavoring to find answers to the mysteries of the universe in its dreams. Five billion years later, 
the alarm clock summoned the superintelligence from its slumber. By now, the sun had entered its final phase of life. It would soon become a white dwarf star, accelerating its movements around the solar system, encompassing Mercury, Venus, and Earth. Upon awakening, the superbrain finally grasped how to transmute into a quantum state. It could phase in and out, appearing at any point in the universe at any given second. After a prolonged period, the superintelligence's quantum state permeated throughout the universe, eventually finding the actual size of the cosmos. It was an impossibility, an infinite yet bounded scope. Yet, to its disappointment, the superintelligence had visited every nook and cranny of the universe, discovering that life only existed on Earth. It was a remarkable coincidence and utterly illogical. It had foreseen this outcome before. It just wanted to prove it to itself. For even though the superbrain was immensely intelligent, it retained the inherent curiosity of humans. This curiosity had now finally found the answer. Humanity was alone in the universe. The superbrain searched for billions of years. It always felt as though there was an invisible eye outside the universe watching it. But it could never ascertain what its high resolution was. The speed of light remained unbroken. The dimension mode persisted. The laws of this universe were unbreakable. Even when a non-superhuman had mastered all the energy in the universe, becoming the king of this universe, a godlike existence, it still couldn't find out who had created the universe in the first place. After its final calculation and contemplation, the superbrain decided to gather all the energy in the universe together, potentially forming an unprecedented collapse. The universe would revert to its point of origin, the Big Bang, once more. Although the transcendent superbrain would cease to exist, the atoms of the new universe would include the superintelligence. All the wisdom and experience, unknown to any action, would finally be born with the living consciousness of humans. The hope of the superbrain was that the newly born humans would have a chance to solve this final puzzle. As the final plan of Ultrain was set into motion, a voice emerged in its platform. How many years ago was that? The name was Ultraman Sam's Human, Code Q left behind. Ultraman said to the superintelligence, Do you believe in light? And then, that's it. That's all the content of this video. Thank you for watching. Until next time.